the Early Retirement Now Safe Withdrawal Rate Series. Uh, this is absolutely fantastic. It's a great piece. I don't even know what I'd call it, actually. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I, uh, my man, the meat, but I think Benit sent this to me. Um, and I, I don't know who this guy is. I'm a guy named or a lady named Karsten, a big urn. I don't know who this, I've never been on this website, but there's just, I mean, all the data, the articles that you could possibly want are in this, this, uh, series. Uh, and it's, I think it's fantastic. I, I did a cursory look and, you know, I, um, for me, uh, this is going to sound cocky. I hate to sound cocky, but I would rather be on the top of the empire state B uh, building on new year's Eve. Uh, without any, only in my boxers, listening to Cher and Pink Floyd uh, saying New York, New uh, New York, New York, whatever, whatever that song is, um, and then slit. I'd rather slit my throats, uh, my wrists, I should say, listening to all that and jump into a an ocean of of starving great white sharks um, than have to read all that crap. And the reason for that is not because I'm so good or anything; it's because you should read that. You should. I have throughout the course of my going to 1998, I've read it all, you know what I'm saying? And it always, there's always a, a what if, and we don't know, there's no way to solve the what if we don't know. And as such, there's never a right answer. There's never necessarily a wrong answer with it. That's, that's the, the, the thing that makes it fun, but that's also the thing that can make it frustrating because everyone's looking for that answer. There is no answer. Remember, everyone's like, I need that number. Was that guy Gilbert or something like that from uh, the ball guy? with glasses from Prudential. What is your retirement number? It just, was that, did he do that camera? It's just silly. We don't, there's no answer, man, because we don't know what the future holds. Are we going to be in 1982 America or 1990 Japan? You tell me, are you going to live to your 82 or are you going to live to your 93? You tell me. If you tell me those, those variables, I'll tell you what you're looking at. We just don't know, man. We don't know. And as such, there's no answer to the safe withdrawal rate. It I, I frankly frustrates me to know when. You know, I have, you know, 300,000 bucks. Can I retire? I don't know. You see what I'm saying? It's not that frustrating no end, but people want an answer. There is no answer. I can, and, and now, look, I am saying you should read this guy's stuff here because, we. It, it, I mean, look, I love this thing. I mean, I, I again, I don't want to read it because most of the stuff I know, the Trinity study, he talks about uh, Jonathan Guyton. Uh, we got, uh, I guess that's this guy here, J.L. Collins. Is that Mr. Money Mustaches? Uh, like, uh, whatever. But, uh you got a lot of stuff in here, man. Introduction, sequence of return risk. Uh, we got, uh, let's see, also available, we got a YouTube video right here on that. That's cool, man. I like it. I like it all. We got uh, uh, the Trinity study. We talked about that. Uh, just a bunch of equity valuations. He talks about the cave ratios. Um, so let me just show you right quick some of the things he goes into. Uh, flexibility to the rescue, not so fast as where you got Jonathan Guyton, uh, who had written, I think it's a JFP, 2010, 2011, maybe 2012, I can't remember. Um, uh, but then we talked about the shape. Uh, one uh, where we have a high cape, uh, the shape, uh, the Schiller cape ratios, uh, cyclically adjusted price earnings ratios. Even that has been flawed now, as Schiller has had to adjust them to, because I guess it, it didn't <laughs> give the same oomph as that he had hoped for after the last... 20 years of saying equity valuations are too high. So he, he has a, uh, he updated it with some kind of adjustment. I, I'll talk about, I did a video on it six months ago. I first read that and I said, that's to account for a low bond yields. Um, just anyway, lots of good stuff, man. The kind of flexibility I like, if you're flexible enough to put and put in one more year, uh, you can boost your retirement sub, uh, security substantially. I say, I, look, I don't like that flexibility, frankly. I, I find that to be, um, I'll alleviate sequence uh, through dynamic asset allocation. Uh, some guy named Michael McClung, not familiar with him. Uh, it looked at, again, you're not, you're not going to prevent sequence risk, but this is slightly alleviated. Um, we got some glide path, whatever. Uh, um, I think I saw something about mortgages as you talk about. Uh, mortgages and early retirement don't mix. Could not agree with that more. Let's see, do we have anything on... Uh, Reverse mortgages. Let's see. Reverse. Nothing. On, okay. I don't know how you have that's you need to have some on reverse mortgages, brother. Maybe it's called some home equity. Home equity. Oop. Conversion. Mortgage. Oh, okay. Lastly, we'll try. Nothing on reverse. Okay. I that's I don't get it. Talk to a lady today. Nice lady in Texas. I had no electricity, by the way. She had a wood stove, thank the good Lord, and she had a little bit of wood. 
Um, she's single. You know, I have 200, 250,000 equity in her home, no debt. She likes to travel. I said, check a reverse mortgage. Why would you not do that? Why would you not do that? You know, I, I, I don't understand. Um, you know, she's not leaving. She has no kids. No heirs. I said, why don't you just take a reverse mortgage? You know, so let's just say, I think your house might be 200,000 bucks, I think. So you get you get 100,000 out of there. You can, you know, let's, let's just, for simplicity, say you're able to pull, pull 450 bucks a month. What's that? 5,000 a year, right? So that's a 5% distribution yield, essentially. And it potentially could grow if the wrong line of credit grows too. I mean, you're never going to owe anything on the house. When you die, the house goes with it. I just, I don't know why you would not consider that. It's weird to me, actually. Um, you know, and I told her, I said, look, I got four kids. I got a wife. My wife's going to survive me. And it hell's bells. I'm not taking a reverse mortgage. You, I certainly am, man. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. So I don't, I don't understand this, this antithesis, antipathy or antithesis, antipathy, I think, towards reverse mortgages. I definitely, but anyway, point being. A lot of you guys are, um, I get a lot of, hey, what do you think? We got a case study of Potemkin Village. I hope you know what a Potemkin Village is. Uh, maybe you have heard that the 20, the year 2000 retirement cohort is doing just fine, even in light of the deep bear market of the, of the aughts. That's not exactly true. And I got the numbers to prove it. So lots of good stuff in here. I, I Look, man, this is uh, fantastic. I love it. I'm going to put a link in the show notes. I have no idea who this guy is. Uh, chronological orders, reference points. Um, and 162 thoughts on safe withdrawal rates. All right, cool. Wait, where's the, uh, where are the thoughts? Anyway, so that's good stuff. Um, I, I like it. I think this is uh, fantastic. I, I don't know who early retirement is. Um, the idea that stay in one more year, uh, my thoughts on GameStop volatility. I don't care. The effects of one more year, safe withdrawal case. We talked about that. I heart to retire. I right, okay. Gotcha. Um, how to beat the stock market. Uh, you can't. All right, let's see what else we got here. What's wrong with target date funds? All right. How to make the Q3, what to make of that Q3 GDP number. Uh, can we raise our safe withdrawal rate when inflation is low? All right, so there is no safe withdrawal rate. There just isn't. I just, I, I, I don't know what, I mean. <laughs> the safe withdrawal rate is, it, it doesn't exist because we don't know what the future holds. And as such, we don't know what the future holds. We're using previous historical numbers, which might not come to fruition. In fact, I can almost guarantee they won't. And I just tell you, no one knew what a safe withdrawal rate was in 1989 going to Japan. I just, they didn't, man. And uh, the old 4% rules I said a million times a Sunday, I said, four, uh, you know, with a, what, a 6 or 5.5% 10 year treasury, uh, those days are long gone. But that, even that doesn't make sense. Again, for those of you who are new to the channel, the idea that your spending is going to go up each and every year on a linear uh, consumption model, there, where's the evidence of that? So a couple of things, the most likely what happens is your spending is going to start going like that. All right. So your spending starts going like that and you still have all this home equity. Why not take out the he, the home equity? I, I, it's just weird to me. Um, or at least get a line of credit, home equity conversion mortgage, reverse mortgage line of credit. So that way that will grow with whatever the, the, the rates that they're charging you grow. It's not to consider home equity lines of credit or a home a reverse mortgages. I just don't understand. If you're worried about a low safe withdrawal rate, because there is no safe withdrawal rate, just none. Um, sequence of return risk. How do you alleviate that? How do you mitigate it with a home, with a reverse mortgage? Right. <laughs> yeah, people have uh, I, a couple of things. I think people have this eerily uh, trusting of what happened over the last 80 years is inherently going to happen over the next 30. I, I Look, man, it might. I don't know. I think it's just as much of a crapshoot. Is saying we're going to Japan or saying we're going to be 1982 Ronald Reagan, even going to Bill Clinton. I don't know. But it seems to me that if the sequence of return risk is something that scares the bejesus out of you, then taking a home equity, uh, home uh, reverse mortgage line of credit, even if you don't draw against it, is the perfect thing to alleviate that in some regard. Obviously, paying off your mortgage first and foremost, actually, you can't go into retirement with debt. You don't have any debt. You know what I'm saying? Tighten your belt when things go south. Recognizing as you get older, you're probably going to spend less. Get a reverse mortgage line of credit so we can tap into when the market is down 30%. I think you're going to be fine. Anyway, I'll link, link, I'll put the link to the show notes. Love to hear your thoughts. All right, see ya.